And we're here talking with John Lee Hancock, this year's Star Recipient Award for the Dallas International Film Festival. Thank you so much for coming today. We appreciate it. Congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now tell us a little bit about Filming the Blind Side. Um, well, when I first got the book, I wasn't sure I wanted to do another sports movie. I'd done The Rookie, and, uh, and, and yet I'm a big Michael Lewis fan. So I read the book, and it just did, you know, it, it dragged me right into it. So I uh, came away with the take, and it's been, you know, every step of the way has been kind of a dream come true. I mean, I, th I thought the movie would work and it'd be great, but uh, the response to it, both from a personal anecdotal and financial aspect, has been pretty incredible. Yeah, absolutely, and especially with Sandra winning the Oscar as well. <clears throat> well deserved. Yeah. I mean, I love, love me some Sandy. She's a, <laughs> she's a great girl and, and, well, and such, just so deserving of this. She's a fine, fine actor. Yeah. What was your first impression of the family when you met them? Well, um, kind of as advertised. I think Michael Lewis did a great job of kind of chronicling their lives and their personalities in the book, but, um, but they, they don't fit in a box, in anybody's box, and that's one of the things I love about them. Mm -hmm. I read an article about um, Sandra commenting about how they have a faith that's real, that's lived out, mm -hmm. and I think that was a, a great testimony to this family, um, and also for the message that's furthered. I think the, the audience has definitely been very well receiving, it's been very encouraging to them too. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. I, um, I think that they are who they are, and they, they certainly walk the talk, and uh, that's refreshing. Yeah, you don't find that so much these days. Yeah, I think, and so when you do, you really have to uh, applaud that. Yeah, absolutely. So about this journey between the rookie, the blind side, you know, sports movies, what's next for you? Um, I've got a project I'm working on called uh, American Can, uh, something I'm writing now uh, with Sony and uh, Overbrook, Will Smith's company. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm hoping to uh, finish a draft of that before too long. It's a New Orleans story. And then trying to get some other movies made that I've written in the past, trying to cast those. Yeah. Now, back to the blind side for a second. What, what has been your reaction when you open envelopes or letters that could call saying, we want to give you this award, like the Star Award? It's, first of all, I think, you know, why me? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just the luckiest, most fortunate, blessed person in the world that I get to do something I love to do. And, and, um, and then, you know, as somebody pointed out today, they go, well, you know, A Perfect World was 17, 18 years ago, whatever. You go, wow, okay, I, I, I'm kind of starting a career now. I can legitimately say I do this for a living and, and uh, stay busy enough to, you know, to think I'm, if not a player, at least someone that gets to work, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. Now, your roots are from Longview. I was born in Longview uh, and raised in Texas City. I moved when we were in, when I was in first grade, I guess. So I moved to Texas City, grew up in Texas City. Uh, went to uh, Baylor University, went to law school at Baylor. Lived in Houston and practiced law before I uh, packed up the, the bus and uh, moved to Los Angeles. Wow. How's LA been? So it's great. I love it. Um, I live in Pasadena now, um, which is just outside of Los Angeles. Uh, but it's, and if you like 75 and sunny, it's tough to beat. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very different, different <laughs> people. What I wanted to ask is, as you mentioned, you started out in law. What was it that convinced you to make the jump to start writing scripts and now you're directing? Well, I had always been writing short fiction. And then when I was in Houston practicing law, I started writing plays and screenplays, thinking that that was an avenue I might want to pursue. And, um, and so I, I figured that I needed, and I, for me, I knew it would be a good thing to do to move to Los Angeles where I'd be surrounded by lots of people trying to do the same thing, just from a conversation standpoint, if nothing else. And at that time, there weren't a lot of screenwriters and things like that living in Texas. Now you can kind of live anywhere. But, um, so I don't know, yeah, I moved to Los Angeles and starved to death for a long time and <laughs> had a couple of theater companies and I think my work improved and then you know you catch a break and you take advantage of it. Now, when you write something, what is the thing that you hope to achieve? When you sit down and you look at a script or an idea or something, what? How do you start? Do you start with okay, I really want to send this message. Do I really just want to tell the story? Well, what are you aiming for? Well, I think for me, I can't start off with a message or the movie and the script will kind of fail because you're wearing it on your sleeve and yeah. it's like forcing someone to you know to eat their their green vegetables. <laughs> you know, that, right? and you can't do that. So. Um, I think for me, it's first and foremost, it's got to be an entertaining, engaging story that's, you know, that has drama and conflict and those kind of things, or humor, and, and whether it's real or imagined. And um, then the second thing for me is that I have to look and say, what is the theme of this? What does this kind of mean to me? Not that that's a message for anybody else, but it has to mean something to you. 
And because you're with a project for a long time, and I mean, it takes long enough to write them, and it certainly takes a long time to direct and edit them. So you're going to be spending a long time with this idea, with this story. It better mean something to you, or it better be something that you want to expose yourself to, that you can learn from, because that's ultimately kind of what it's about. And did you always hope to be a writer, director, and involved in the entertainment industry? And is that where you hope to go? Um, Continue in? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew that I loved writing as a kid, uh, and, uh, and I didn't know if that was a viable career option or not, because I didn't know anybody who was a writer, didn't know anybody whose dad or mom were, were writers. Um, that seemed like some, something that happened a long way away. Um, so, I mean, I, I didn't, I had an English degree, I loved writing, I didn't go to film school or anything like that, but I loved movies and I loved stories. And um, so, you know, the rest just kind of happened along the way. I thought, yes, I'd love to direct, I love directing theater. So I said, well, I, you know, I think I'd love to direct something someday. Not that I didn't love writing, I did, and, and do. And if I had to choose one, it would probably be writing. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, at least so far, I don't have to choose. So. <laughs> Definitely, that's true. And tell us about Dallas being back here and being able to come mm. to your home state to receive this great award. Um, how, how's the experience been? Oh, it's fantastic. I love Texas. I'm a Texan. Um, I love Dallas. It's a fabulous city. And even though I'm only here for a couple of days, it's, uh, it gives me an opportunity to catch up with old friends and, and just kind of soak up some Texas, which is great. <laughs> Well, as you said, you're a Texan, you know, you're a Baylor guy. You have filmed a couple of projects here in Texas. So I'm wondering, what are you hoping to see develop for the Texas film scene in the future? I was very happy with um, the, um, the rebates tax credit situation, which has been all these states competing against one another. And sometimes you'd have, you'd have stories that were Texas stories that would be filmed elsewhere just because of the tax advantages or rebates. And, and, and that doesn't seem right. Um, <clears throat> that said, for instance, with The Blind Side, it's a Memphis story, and Tennessee has tax credits as well, but they didn't have them to the degree and the advantages of Georgia and Atlanta. So we shot you know, a Tennessee story in Georgia, which you know, Memphis people were probably up in arms about, but at the same time it probably gave us three or four million extra dollars to put on the screen, which is the real dollars when you're doing a, a movie that's you know, budgeted in the low 30s. Well, we definitely appreciate having you. Congratulations so much on your award. What an achievement. And we're thankful that you have honored us with your presence. So. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's completely my pleasure and it's such an honor to be here. Great. Thank you.